What's up? What's up? What are you watching? Just Mr. Howell's lesson one from this week. <laughs> I know, right? I do not understand that guy. Welcome back, Bell Fountain Elementary School. How are you doing? I'm glad you're back for another lesson. This week's lesson is about balancing on different body parts. But before we get started, I thought of a couple things I wanted to remind you of. Um, one thing came to mind. If you'd like to be featured in one of these videos, send me a clip or a picture of you doing one of the exercises that we're practicing, balances, shape making, or heck, you just see being physically active at all. Um, and I'll try and find a way to uh, feature you in one of our upcoming videos for everyone to see what you've been up to. And two, it crossed my mind that I hope everyone's out there being physically active every day. Just because there's only two physical education lessons per week to do, I hope you find a way to get outside or be physically active inside every single day of the week, whether it be riding a bike or a scooter or playing tag with your siblings or friends. But just two thoughts. Let's get this thing started. Just like last time, the warm-up will have four 30-second sections for two minutes of warming up. There will be three exercises per section. Just choose the one you want to do. Follow along to get that body warmed up. And then as soon as we're done, we'll jump right into some balancing. Nice warm up boys and girls. I know my body's ready to uh, balance now and I hope yours is too. Here's what we're gonna do. Our I can statement for today is this. I can balance on a variety of body parts. And that means we're sometimes gonna be balancing on our feet, you might use your hands, just different body parts, even your elbows. Our balances will take place on a different number of points. What that means is the number of things touching the ground. If I'm just standing on two feet, like I am now, then that's a two point balance. If I'm standing on one foot, that's a one point balance. If I put two hands and two feet on the ground at the same time, that's a four point balance. So the different number of points the balance is will equal the number of things touching the ground. In addition to 
making sure you have the correct number of points on the ground for each balance. There's two other things we're looking for. One, are you holding your balance still and straight like a statue for five seconds? And also, are your body parts, your arms, your legs, your trunk, are they straight and not wobbly? I'm ready to give this a try and I hope you are too. Follow along with the balances that I'm going to do and also at the end of each I want you to create one of your own for each of the four different points. Okay, that's going to conclude today's lesson. We'll uh, see you again in a different video next week. Everyone have a great week.